I'm a little behind in Tim's, which is not something that I normally am, I guess. Maybe. Have I been? Um, but, you know, uh, Uriel has brought it up to my attention several times now that uh, I'm keeping him from posting new videos. I mean, uh, so it's time for a Shinkrig! 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 Uh, of two videos together so that I can catch up. Um, Uriel, maybe I missed the video. Maybe I didn't actually look at it. Um, I have, however, seen your tattoo. And I'm trying to think about how you're going to spend your holidays. I assume that it's in some crazy Spanish way. Um, in any case, uh, I hope you enjoy what I have to present to you, and I will talk to you slightly later. Ah, uh, yes. So, before I begin today's Shin Creek, I found myself complaining about something in a dream last night that um, I'd forgotten was something that bothered me. And in fact, it is something that bothers me. A lot of people refer to male masturbation as... Mm, beating it, beating off, whacking it, whacking off, flogging the dolphin, choking the chicken. This is terrible. If you masturbate like that, that sounds like it hurts. Uh, the vast majority of adult males who masturbate, which is basically adult males, um, tend to use a dry, clenched fist. If you are among this population, please find a better way to masturbate. Weather's nice today, so I figured that I would do a part of this shin from uh, the outdoors. Then again, the wind's a bit high, so I'm probably going to have to do the rest of it inside. So without ado, first thing to explain to you, through my explanation, how little I think about holidays. Alright, so my views on the holidays. Um, there are a lot of holidays, and I often think that there are probably too many of them. I have a view that holidays are generally kind of a, uh, a family time, a time that you spend together with your family, or if your family aren't around or you can't access them, to spend them with your friends. Um, the idea of capitalism or consumerism or something like that overtaking a holiday is not something that comes to my mind so much, because I just can't really think of myself as buying something because it's a particular day. I generally buy because there's a need. Or, I gift because I feel like gifting my approach to birthdays, for example, is that I will give you a birthday gift when I find a good birthday gift for you. I will not remember when your birthday is, but I'll probably give you a gift at some point, maybe once a year. Now, with Christmas gifts, it's a bit of a different thing. There's a big communal gift exchange thing going on in all directions. I do kind of like that, and I'm willing to put out for that, but at the same time, I mean, this year for Christmas, I'm headed back to Canada, which is uh, a little too soon by my mind, but at the same time, you know, my whole family is going to be in one city, and that doesn't happen very often. Um, and so, like, that's going to be good. I mean, I'd much rather see them when the weather's nice. I, I'd much rather have everybody get together outside of a time when everybody else is doing the exact same thing, but, you know, it's a good idea. I don't really have that idea of itinerized calendar beyond the work week. So I'm boring when it comes to talking about holidays. I like having days off work, I suppose. But still, I mean, I could be working. And here is a piece on my tattoos, of which I have two. So, uh, I have two tattoos, and you can see them now. This one down here is as it seems, and this one up here is a watermark from a greater illustration by Trevor Brown. I've tried to record this several times, and uh, each time has been terrible. Um, I don't like talking about the meanings behind tattoos. I mean, it generally ends up going into the realm of like, you know, this is a picture of my soul, and you know. Uh, 
That was amazing. So, long story short, the tattoo in the middle of my back comes from a larger piece of artwork. The piece itself was kind of, you know, co-opted by uh, a music artist named Venetian Snares, who I'm very, very fond of. His music speaks to me. That artist's art speaks to me, and that particular image speaks to me as well. To go a little deeper into it, both of them are artists who deal very strongly in the blue and the grotesque um, as kind of like a modus operandi, um, as well as kind of dealing with off the beaten path. You don't normally talk about your mother with this sort of thing, do you? Sort of material. Um, also, I like the way that the image sort of marries that sort of a beauty and uh, death and cuteness and violence, you know? Also, to get a tattoo with 13 petals on a skull flower done by a left-handed guy in the same room as a big sigil of Baphomet. I mean, like, you know, that's sort of, there's that idea of, you know, when you spill salt, you're supposed to throw the salt over your left shoulder into the devil's eye. Number one, why is that such a great idea? That's the devil's eye you're throwing that into. Wait a second, devil doesn't exist. And if you throw salt in the devil's eye and you don't do shit about it, well then fucking go give her, man. Throw salt to the goddamn devil's eye sort of kind of raised with that idea that if you have certain images around you or if you have certain lifestyle choices around you then that ends up directly influencing who you are. Eh? No, not really. You can just like things and even get them put on you. Ah, oh, how lovely. The one at the center of uh, the bottom of my back. Oh, I got that when I was 19. It was about a span of nine or ten years between my two tattoos and it's held up very well. Um, if, you know, if I was going to brand myself with anything, it would probably have to be the peace sign. Just because, you know, I do believe that peace is one of those things that's not only vital to achieve, but is also one of those things that, like, is very achievable just as soon as we agree to stop fucking each other's shit up. Right? Anyway, um, and uh, it's directly over the spot that you get a uh, spinal tap put in. Apparently, they won't give you a spinal tap if you get a tattoo over the spot where you get a spinal tap put in. I want to hold them to that because, number one, I think that's bullshit. And number two, don't really want a spinal tap. But they're going to have to have that conversation, aren't they? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yes, my tattoos. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Shin Creek. The Shin Creek! Um, please expect a bit of music coming up from my side of Tim's. Please expect me to keep up with things in a much more timely fashion. Um, and, uh, yeah, no. I mean, like, of course, coming up to this video, I made sure that I caught up with everybody else's videos. Um, except for the one about Uriel's tattoo. But I've seen his tattoo, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, you yeah, know, I, I love this forum for catching up with you guys. And uh, my little brother apparently watches this now. Wah! He's not that much littler than me. Why am I saying that? Anyway, um, but yeah, no, it's pretty awesome. And I like you guys. And I hope you're having a nice time. And I think about you a lot. Peace. Backwards. Which means, fuck you! No, really. Peace.